good afternoon. These were the scenes this morning as the Queen and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge arrived in the East Midlands. Hello, I'm Dominic Hill. Welcome to East Midlands today. Well, after the Queen's uh, big Jubilee weekend in London, you might have thought she uh, wanted to take it easy. Far from it. Of course, she has a UK-wide tour to complete. And today it was William and the East Midlands' turn, and she was greeted by thousands of spectators every step of the way. These are the scenes in Nottingham as the Queen arrived at the city station, formally greeted by the Lord Lieutenant of Nottinghamshire, Sir Andrew Buchanan. A very warm welcome from the Duke and Duchess, who had flown in by helicopter. Then a moment two young girls will never forget. Six-year-old Elsa Buchanan presented Her Majesty with a small posy. Uh, Seven-year-old Lily Hatton also did and performed a curtsy for Kate. The route from the station to the Market Square absolutely packed with thousands of people. Once in the square, the royal party chatted to the crowd. Some had been waiting since six o'clock in the morning. Then the long-awaited moment at the council house, on the balcony and the playing of the national anthem. Fantastic scenes. Well, as I was saying, you had to be up very early to wait for the Queen and our Kylie Pentelow did just that. So it's six o'clock in the morning. I've come down here to do live broadcast during our breakfast news. And to be honest, I thought I'd be the only person in the old market square. But as you can see, I'm not. These people must have got up very early indeed. Crocheting kept Margaret from Tolerton busy. Her and husband Tony arrived before five o'clock. I think there's only a couple of road sweepers here before. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? Because it's the Queen. She's a heritage. She means everything. You couldn't sleep all night, could you? I'm so excited. <laughs> No, it looks to me like you're the most enthusiastic <laughs> one and you've kind of brought your friends along. Is that true? Kind of, yeah. I'm, I'm a very royalist. Like, my room's all, like, Union Jacks and everything like that, so I'm kind of very much pro. I think you're very good friends. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the first time crowds have gathered for the royals in the Old Market Square. This is before the coronation in 1949. Then, too, Princess Elizabeth met the people and appeared on the balcony. It's now 9.30 and, as you can see, the square is full of thousands of people just waiting for the Queen. At a quarter past ten, the Queen in mint green, followed by Kate and William. And for those who'd been here for five and a half hours, all that waiting was worth it. Amazing scenes uh, in Nottingham and amazing scenes later here at Vernon Park at Baseford in Nottingham, which was the uh, Royal Party's second stop of the day. This is a, a green lung, if you like, for a, a very heavily built up part of the city. And the reason the Royals came here was very special too, because this park now has, uh, if you like, a royal seal of approval. It's going to be protected for generations to come. This report from Carol Hines. Around four miles from the Old Market Square is Vernon Park in Baseford. It has strong sporting traditions and the Duke of Cambridge was invited to start a Diamond Jubilee Dash, a relay race for children. On your marks. Get set. But this neighbourhood park is to become one of 2012 specially selected fields to commemorate the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. On behalf of all of us enjoying ourselves here today, I congratulate the organisers of this event, but most particularly everyone at Fields and Trust, who work so tirelessly to ensure that wonderful places like Vernon Park are protected for future generations to enjoy. The Duke of Cambridge, who is patron of the Fields in Trust charity, which is behind the park's change of status, spoke warmly of his grandparents' involvement in the charity. Thank you all so much, Your Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh, for everything you've done throughout your reign to protect these vital outdoor places for the nation. And then it was time for the Royal Party to hear from the children of Stanhope Primary School. They performed a song written by one of their choir leaders, especially for the Jubilee. Carol Hines, East Midlands Today. 
Well, those crowds are now beginning to melt away, but uh, staying behind, I'm pleased to say, is Eddie Curry, Nottingham City Council's Head of Parks and Open Spaces. Um, what a fabulous day. Was it everything you expected? Uh, it was actually more than we expected. It was a fantastic crowd, really good. The weather stayed fine for us, and I think everybody really enjoyed the day. And in terms of protecting the nation's open spaces and parks like this, Prince William did a really good PR job for that, didn't he? Absolute fantastic ambassador for the Queen's Elizabeth you know, Jubilee sort of trust. And I think you know, that will really help to protect parks and open spaces all over the, over the country. Can you remind us why green lungs like this are so important in places like Baseford? Well, I think if you look around, the area is very heavily built up and actually these green lungs in the city really do help to provide valuable spaces for people to come and enjoy a day out free of charge and enjoy the fresh air and, and, and a piece of the countryside in the middle of the city. So it's a really great, valuable space for people to enjoy. Well, one thing I didn't realise is that the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh have been involved in promoting parks, if you like, for virtually the 60 years of her reign. That's an incredible um, vote of approval, isn't it? Absolutely, and to have a royal seal of approval for parks just really helps to rec give some recognition to the agenda and, and really helps to people to recognise how much parks are valued by the nation. OK, Eddie, thanks very much indeed and well done. Uh, that is it from us for now. We'll be back a little later in the programme, but now let's catch up with the day's news. And here's Sarah Teal. Tonight on East Midlands Today, we'll be speaking to Olympic swimming superstar Rebecca Adlington. With 44 days to go until the Games, Beck is talking to us about her hopes for London 2012 in her hometown of Mansfield. But what does the Queen of the Pool think about the Queen herself and today's royal visit? I've obviously met the Queen before and that was an unbelievable experience for me. I was just, just so honoured and... I was just kind of overwhelmed as well. I was like, why am I meeting the Queen? <laughs> it was just kind of unbelievable. But I love kind of Prince William and Kate. I love Kate. I just think she's amazing in every way. And I've not met them two, but I just, I know they're amazing. <laughs> That's all from me for now. Back to the royal visit now. And the Queen and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are now having lunch at Burley House in Stamford. Back to Dominic, though, who's at Vernon Park. Hello, Dom. Hi there, yes, welcome back to Vernon Park. Yes, a, a quick uh, update for you. The Queen apparently has arrived at Burley House this afternoon. She arrived by helicopter. Uh, a 40-mile journey here from here, so really only a hop, skip and a jump. Uh, she's having lunch there, and then I understand she'll be uh, touring the town of Stamford. So her tour of the uh, East Midlands continues with a will. And, you know, she had great weather, all things considered. Let's get a forecast now with Anna. That is about it from us on what has been really quite a momentous day for Nottingham and for the East Midlands as a whole. The latest step of Her Majesty's Queen Jub Jubilee Tour of the UK. And, you know, it's gone swimmingly. See you on East Midlands today at 6.30. Bye-bye. Our top story tonight, the Queen, Kate and William take Nottingham by storm. 30,000 turn out to cheer Her Majesty and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. I was shaking ever since, and then I had a rest, and suddenly I, I was outside giving the posies to Kate. Some had camped out since first light to get the best view of the royal... A very good evening to you and welcome to Wednesday's programme. Well, the roads were closed early and the crowds began forming just after dawn as the East Midlands prepared to welcome Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. 30,000 people turned out in Nottingham wanting to be part of the latest royal visit to the region in the Diamond Jubilee year. Among the crowd was our chief news reporter, Quentin Rayner, who witnessed a royal dash from start to finish. <laughs> On your marks. Get set. This was a hectic day, but it all started quietly at Nottingham Station. The welcoming party included familiar faces as the Queen was met by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge on their first official visit together to the East Midlands. Posey number one was just around the corner with seven-year-old Lily Hatton remembering her curtsy just in time. Through normally pedestrianised streets, the Royal Convoy made its way to the city centre. Her Majesty has been a frequent visitor to the city, which has welcomed her in each of her jubilee years. The city was hosting the visit on behalf of Nottingham, Nottinghamshire, Derby and Derbyshire, and both counties' Lord Lieutenants were accompanying the Royal visitors. Inside the Council House, the Royal Party met community champions and a number of couples celebrating their diamond wedding anniversaries this year. 
But if you've got a balcony going spare and top royals on hand, there has to be an appearance and, of course, the royal wave. Outside, another posy, this one from eight-year-old Isabel Wheel, who lost her arms and legs to meningitis two years ago. We were really nervous. We were standing, we had to stand in a line, um, and then she came along, and we were all expecting her to not be as chatty as she was. She was, like, really chatty to us. Next stop, Vernon Park in Baseford, where they were enjoying a diamond dash, and Stanhope Primary School was singing its heart out with a specially composed Jubilee song. As patron of the Fields in Trust, Her Majesty granted the park Queen Elizabeth II field status, protecting it for future generations. Her grandson paid tribute. Thank you all so much, Your Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh, for everything you've done throughout your reign to protect these vital outdoor places for the nation. This was a day of memories. And Nottinghamshire made sure its royal guests will always remember it. It was quite something. And as you saw there, when the Queen arrived at the Old Market Square this morning, there were thousands of us waiting. However, some had been waiting longer than others, as Kylie Pentelow discovered. So it's six o'clock in the morning. I've come down here to do live broadcast during our breakfast news. And to be honest, I thought I'd be the only person in the Old Market Square. But as you can see, I'm not. These people must have got up very early indeed. Crocheting kept Margaret from Tolerton busy. Her and husband Tony arrived before five o'clock. I think there's only a couple of road sweepers here before. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? Because it's the Queen. She's a heritage. That's it. She means it? everything. You couldn't sleep all night, could you? She's oh. so excited. Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing a corgi t-shirt with the Queen's corgis on. I just think she's just such an amazing woman. Like, she's took us through so many great years and I'm sure she's going to take us for many more years to come. Now, it looks to me like you're the most enthusiastic <laughs> one <laughs> and you've kind of brought your friends along. Is that true? Kind of, yeah. I'm, I'm a very royalist. Like, my room's all, like, Union Jacks and everything like that, so I'm kind of very much pro. <laughs> I think you're very good friends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not the first time crowds have gathered for the royals in the Old Market Square. This is before the coronation in 1949. Then too, Princess Elizabeth met the people and appeared on the balcony. It's now 9.30 and as you can see, the square is full of thousands of people just waiting for the Queen. At a quarter past ten, the Queen in mint green, followed by Kate and William. And for those who'd been here for five and a half hours, all that waiting was worth it. So, getting up at dawn paid dividends for some, but in Burley and Stamford, the Queen's third destination, there was no need to be quite such an early bird. No, she may have started the day in Nottingham, but Her Majesty stopped in South Lincolnshire for lunch, as Carol Hines reports. Lincolnshire is home to several RAF bases, so it was fitting that the Queen arrived at Burley House near Stamford by helicopter. I think it's important for everybody, you know, Everybody wants to see the Queen. We are all so excited that she's actually coming here. Her Majesty planted a tree before joining around 8,000 guests for a picnic. Lunch over, she delighted an enthusiastic crowd with a drive through Stamford. Oh, so we've seen her three times today. Yeah. Got a few videos, we're in a few pictures as she went past. So it was quite good. They're very tired now, but it's been a great thing for them, a great memory for them to have. The Red Arrows marked the end of her visit to our region with a fly past. Carol Hines, East Midlands Today.